You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, and welcome to Scheduling Fate. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the week of August 15th through the 22nd, and it is a huge week. It's almost like everything happens on one day this month, and that is the 19th, but we're definitely going to feel this all week long. Before we get to the signs, we're going to walk through this host of transits that we're all going to be working with, and as we get to the horoscope, you'll know where these are going to probably be highlighted based off of your sun sign, your rising sign, or your moon sign. All right, so the planets are also forming what we would call a T-square this week. So there are certain tension points in your life that have been building and building, and now they're looking for a resolution. And that resolution may be found in the Sagittarius area of your chart, but it could also be found where these other planets are activated. Again, we'll talk about that with the horoscopes. All right, so one of the first transits this week is Mars square Saturn. So these are very masculine planets, has to do with authority, our drive, our motivation, and the structure we have around it. In short, Mars square Saturn is a challenging aspect that often brings tension between this personal desire that I have and the limitations that are preventing me from getting this. There could be some frustration this week when it comes to ambitions or goals. You may feel like you're blocked by an inner or external authority figure. Now, the thing about this energy, too, is that we have Mars and Gemini. So that's a lot of motivation, drive, and energy in a dual sign. So there's multiple ways that we can take action. But we have Saturn in Pisces that is looking for a way to be compassionate, but not self-sacrificing. So kind of think about these tension points when they come up this week. Are we just taking action for the sake of taking action? Are we really building towards something? Because ultimately, that is what this transit's trying to get you to do, but it could be hard in the moment. All right, so the next transit we have is Mercury square Uranus. So this creates a dynamic of intellectual tension or a mental restlessness. Like we have all these ideas, all these things that we want to work with and we don't know how to do it. Or it could be this sudden insight that just kind of flashes and you're like, okay, now I know what I need to do. And you are ready to move as fast as you can to get things in place. Now this energy overall, it can result in challenges with consistency or communication. And it could have a little bit of a rebel energy to it. Like it's going to go against the conventional ideas that are in, in place to bring something forward. Now, Mercury is in Leo. This is a fixed, passionate, creative fiery sign it wants to be original one of a kind and it is having intense conversation with uranus that is in taurus now uranus is all about revolution and breaking through and doing something differently but it's also in a fixed grounded sign so you may find this week that you have a fiery passionate original creative idea that invokes you or invites you to take action toward ensuring that your values are supported in probably an unconventional way, something outside of the box. So kind of keep that in mind. All right, next transit up, we have Sun conjunct Mercury. This is also called Kazemi. This is going to bring a lot of conversation, the ability to think quickly, to act quickly, to communicate. Now, the thing is, everyone around you is also experiencing this transit. And one of the biggest challenges is that we have a hard time listening as much as we speak, but there's a lot of magic when we listen. So try to listen to those ideas of of everyone around us. And also one of the challenges with this could be overthinking or over-criticizing certain ideas that we have. Like, I don't know if that's going to work. It's going to, it's a little too extraordinary. It's a little too outside the box. What are people going to think or say? We don't want to entertain that shadow. We want to entertain the inspiration. So the next transit that we're going to talk about is Venus squaring Jupiter and opposing Saturn. Now, this is going to echo and layer into these other transits that we've already mentioned. It can create a complex interplay between expansion, pleasure, and discipline, and the relationship that we have with ourselves and our personal values and those around. A square to Jupiter often brings up overindulgence, our unrealistic expectations, that conflict between desire and the practicality of the desire that we have, which could also lead to a little bit of a challenge when it comes to moderation in general. Now we layer on the opposition to Saturn, that brings in more of that restriction, that responsibility, and that feeling of, you know, should I really do this? Do I have what I need to do this? What if, what would these people say? How would I feel about that if someone did it to me? It could cause that overthinking, Sun and Mercury. It could cause that little bit of anxiousness about how do I take action on this insight I have? How do I work around this authority and still have progress or work with this authority and not get a no, but get a yes, or find a way to make the no that I have lead me to the yes that I need. It's a very interesting energy right there. 
And then following that up, we have Sun square Uranus. Now, this energy could lead to sudden changes and disruptions. Either you are expelling them, you are saying, okay, this is what's going to happen, and it's kind of rocking everyone's world around you, or you may find that you're in response to some kind of sudden breakthrough or insight that other people have around you, because there's a lot of that, oh, wow, now I see it now, now I need to take action, that everyone is experiencing in a different area of their life. And of course, that's all going to sort of roll into each other and there's going to be some breakthroughs, some unconventional paths that open up for you. The challenge lies between balancing that need, that urge for freedom, and the, also the need for structure to ensure that that freedom, that breakthrough that you have, has what it needs to survive going forward. Now, wait, there's more. We also have Jupiter square Saturn this week. Now, Jupiter square Saturn signifies tension between, again, growth, Jupiter, and that need for discipline, Saturn. So you can see this is a constant conversation that the sky is having this week. Yes, we need to grow. Yes, we need to act on this breakthrough idea, really use our minds and our hearts and ensure they are as aligned as possible. But we have a system, we have a structure, we have an authority, internal or external, that keeps checking us throughout this process. And though it may feel frustrating throughout this week, I assure you that it is there to protect you in the short term, the long term. It's all about perspective and it's all about the conversations that you have with and about this authority that's going to give you that breakthrough that you need. Now, we also have a lot of passion playing into this week. The next transit of the week supports that, Venus square Mars. Now, Venus square Mars indicates strong tension between desire and that need for action. Again, there's action that's coming in this week. This energy can often manifest relationships that are full of both conflict and passion and also very intense. So it's it's good for inspiration. It's good for building that fire, that passion, but the ability of it could be a little bit harder to obtain, which we've already seen with all the Uranus energy that we have this week. Now, as we move through this week, we get to the end, we do have sun stepping into Virgo, and that is going to help us really wrap this story up because the sun in Virgo is all about that analytical, detail-oriented, highly practical, striving for perfection and order. That energy is going to come into an area of your life and really bring into focus how you can work with all of these breakthroughs. And if that wasn't enough, this is also a full moon week. That full moon is going to happen on the 19th. It is at 27 degrees Aquarius in 15 minutes. Now, an Aquarius full moon really brings up themes of innovation, individuality, and social change. It encourages breaking free from unconventional norms and embracing progressive ideas, also a theme this week. This lunar phase highlights the balance between your personal authenticity and the collective effort to improve the community around you. And this full moon is a huge player in the energy that we're working with this week. It sits opposite of Mercury and it squares Uranus, the ruler of it. So as you can see, this week really hosts a lot of energy, energy that you've been feeling build throughout the month and energy that you're going to continue to unpack as we move through the next couple of weeks. But we will talk more about how each sign can handle this as we get into the horoscopes. So with that being said, let's get ready to dive into those. Please be sure to listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign. And if you know it, I would even listen to my moon sign because it is a big, big week. All right, here we go. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be partnerships and home life two, the habits and rituals that you have, and three, that local environment who you communicate with your voice. Now let's talk about why. Now this week, there is a lot of energy around your one-to-one -one partnerships, how you connect with other people. This could also be competitors, clients, anybody that you have like a contract with, an agreement with. It'll flow into your daily communication, but also your network of people that you're connected with. Now, there's going to be multiple action points that can lead to a lot of expansion, but there is a bit of a challenge that you're working with when it comes to authority. And that authority could be something that has to do with how it's always been done around your foundational level, your home, your roots. Like you may feel like you have to go against that in order to take action. And I think that there is a way for you to do both. I think there's a way to have healthy conversations with that inner or external authority to help you make moves that are going to support you, not only in the short term, but in the long term. We also have a lot of conversation in the sky when it comes to where do we go from here? What do we want to learn, teach, explore? What does that new direction look like? And that is thanks to the sun and Mercury meeting. There's going to be insights, downloads, inspiration coming from mentors that you have, or maybe you may be a mentor for something else. So this is going to really inspire some creative energy, something that could even inspire how you change your brand or your approach overall. Now, with this energy, everyone around you is going to be experiencing it too. So it may be difficult to share your ideas because other people are trying to share their ideas as well. And it could be an overload of them too. So just write down 
everything that comes to mind, that inspiration, and then really lean into the ones that are going to support you now, ones that feel really passionate and aligned with the direction that you're trying to go into. Now, we also have the sun moving into Virgo at the end of this week. This is going to highlight your reputation, how you're known in the world, this authority that you have. It's going to be a good time to get detailed, to really think about what needs to change to get you from this point to the next point. It's probably little things. That's a Virgo thing and how this can impact your overall home work life balance in general. So kind of keep that in mind as a theme that's coming up. Now, this is also a full moon week. Now, this full moon is going to highlight a communication sector in your life, your local environment, how you think, how you communicate, who you see every day. There's going to be something to celebrate here, but there's also going to be a little bit of a challenge when it comes to this energy and also those habits that you have day in and day out. You may have a sudden breakthrough or a shift that says, you know what, I need to change this habit. By changing this habit, I'm going to change my daily flow. I'm going to change how I connect with other people, but also my overall health and wealth. There needs to be a breakthrough or a change when it comes to these things. So always remember that full moons give us something to celebrate, but they also illuminate things that maybe we want to change in one way or another. All right. With that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time.